Le Corbusier was hands down one of the most influential architect throughout the history. Corbusier really crafted a cult. Corbusier as a figure was very ambiguous. You can't define him or say bound him or his work in black or white. It was all grey, just like his favorite material, reinforced concrete. One of the most favorite quote from my quote collection, which I had read throughout this year, is hands down that people don't believe in art. People believe in artist, and Le Corbusier was literally that artist whom people believed and followed except one person. That guy literally changed the way people saw architecture. In a way, he created a new image for architecture, just like Picasso did it with art. And when people saw their work, they got hooked with novelty. Many people don't know that Le Corbusier's real name was Charles Edward Jenry. And he was two persons, and I'm not kidding, he played both roles. Meet Charles Edward Jenry, he is a painter. And now meet Le Corbusier, who is one of the greatest architects of 20th century. He really took great care to keep identity separate. In his all paintings, he signed with Charles Edward Jenry. He spent his morning painting in his apartment and afternoon practicing architecture in his office. He said, painting every morning allows him to be lucid every afternoon. Once a journalist knocked on his door while he's painting ours and asked for Le Corbusier, Elsie looked directly right in his eyes and said, I'm sorry, he's not in. And that's really crazy, straight up crazy. Before he crafted a cult, he cultivated himself to make a difference. And if you look his appearance, circle glasses and bow tie, very geometrical and easy to break down. That's what he believed and what he believed is what he presented through his appearance. He believed that shapes are easy to understand and beautiful as it is and that's what he presented through his appearance. To make anyone follow you, first you have to take risks risks in your opinion and the work you do. You have to believe in yourself till such a great extent that anyone can lean on you. First he took risks with his writing, giving out bold opinions and then he translated his words into actions through his work. And this is exactly how he earned or say cultivated credibility to create a cult. I had read two books about Indian architects. One is of Charles Coria, this one, and one is from Bibi Doshi. And these books are about their life, their journey, and their thoughts about architecture. And interestingly, they both mention Le Corbusier very extensively. And it's very interesting to read these thoughts about Corbusier. I felt like Korea had represented Corbusier very wrong. I, I just preferred Korea's version of Corbusier more than Bibi Doshi's version. Korea had praised and criticized Cobb's work and in book he asked one question which I want to put forward to you is did Corbusier was creating life or destroying it? Cobb was literally the person who induced the idea of mass housing in architecture. As Korea says in the book, at that time architects were seduced by the example of mass produced cars. Because that era was like that. Due to World War, there was mass destruction and there was high demand for habitat in short time. And to meet that demand, Supply was done in this way. Right now it feels very rational and normal, but at that time it would be surely a huge deal. Still, Cobb's ignorance about context and his arrogance about work do make me wonder 
was he creating life or destroying it and you know what you can't give answer in black or white because it's all gray Thank you for your time. Meet you in another one. Till then.